Tonight, as the Jets touched down in Pittsburgh, we had two teams looking to turn things around coming out of the All-Star break. The Jets, in a bit of a skid as of late, having lost their last three, had newly acquired Sean Monahan in the lineup, as well as Shifley returning to the lineup. As for the Penguins, very similarly, they had freshly signed Jesse Pugliari and Riley Smith returning to the lineup. And so, a game with some big saves, an interesting penalty, the glass coming down on the Penguins bench, and, of course, this unfortunate hit on Achari that led to Dylan getting the boot meant we got plenty of action, so let's get to it. Just four minutes in, Jets turn over and Chris Letang makes him pay right down the middle with the backhander, beats Hellebuck high glove with his fourth of the year to open up the score. But overall, I got the sense that the first was a bit of a feel-it-out period. Both teams still kind of getting their legs going. Jari made a nice stop here, and then Hellebuck right at the buzzer on the other end signaled the end of the first so we'll head over to the second where this happened achari into the neutral zone and gets absolutely hammered helmet went flying as he was definitely banged up stayed down seemingly concussed and i personally absolutely hate seeing guys in this state it's never fun to watch someone try to get up but they can't now a bit of a scrum but dylan would get called for a five minute major as he went to the box and as for achari what was good to see was him eventually getting up on his own feet but he was clearly leaking pretty good looked very dazed and obviously left the game and with it being a major we got a review so let's do that now i am a penguins fan but i do think the call on the ice was the right call to make it's just a brutally violent hit right to the head you have to make this call i don't think you can really argue that but let's really break it down because from achari's standpoint he's just trying to get the puck in pionk pokes at it here so achari moves forward that puts him in this low position skating head first and he's just doing his job which is getting the puck in but so is dylan from his standpoint he's trying to defend his zone he's a big dude comes across ideally wants to make contact with the shoulder but he seemed to just mistime this hit ever so slightly steps up into the smaller achari and yeah it's a bad outcome that you just hate to see from here achari clearly sees dylan and i think he tries to move his body to the right out of the way dylan Dylan finishing the check then catches him right in the head as Achari is whipped around. And again, clearly this is a hit to the head. That's what it comes down to. There's no way around it. By rule, the onus is on Dylan here to avoid head contact, and he definitely doesn't. It's also worth noting that he broke Bluger's jaw just a few years back, so it's not like I'm a big fan here, but I do have to say I think this one was not exactly a malicious hit, just a really bad outcome. It'll be interesting to see what the league thinks though, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below. But after review, he did end up getting kicked out of the game, and the Penguins would get the five-minute power play. And while it looked off at first, typical for the Penguins this year, eventually Carlson on net, the puck's loose, and Carter puts it home getting it around the pad just tucks it in and put the penguins up by a pair remaining on the power play though the penguins would look to strike again and crosby would go wide but gensel to rust and they score again making the jets really pay it was now three to nothing with rust getting his 12th from there nearing the end of the second we got jari with a grip on velardi as he just refused to let go gets called for holding and i don't know this one just had me laughing a bit just such a weird penalty to take as the jets Jets would now get a chance to get back in it on the power play. Though, they've also struggled a bit this year, and this one was no different for them as the Penguins would kill it off, and with that, finished off the period. So... Let's head over to the third and final frame. Early into the period, Jets try to dump it in, and the curved glass at the Penguins bench had a nice crack in it, which obviously needed repairing. In the process, though, we got the glass POV and Carlson flinching heavily at the thought of it coming down. Not something you see every day. With that said, the Jets were all over the Penguins early in the third. They pressed the Penguins hard as Jari was forced to stand tall with a couple of big stops, but ultimately, Jets again, Morrissey to Shifley, and finally, they score a big goal here five hole and in to make it a game but in a break for the penguins they would challenge it and sure enough taking a look at the entry connor pulls the puck back just enough for velarde to get offside and a lucky break for the penguins as this one would come off the board and as time ticked away jari was forced to make a few more stops but ultimately was able to hold on to take his league leading sixth shutout of the year in a three to zip victory for the pittsburgh penguins at home definitely 
definitely a big game for Pittsburgh that I'm sure they'll hope to build on. Also hope Achari is all right because that really didn't look good. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the hit itself down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. With that, that's about it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much and I will see you in the next one.